Word of Triumphs after a challenge for her title as Krogan Overlord. Following their exile from the Nexus, Jorgal Strux claimed he was the rightful Krogan leader in Helios. But Morna retained her title, defeating Strux in open combat in front of a roaring crowd on Elodin. This is HNS. All personnel be advised. Our Placidia confirms docking procedures complete. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Apex team leaders reporting back. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Scott Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Ryder, glad you could make it. So yes, after that, the Ket tightened security. I've only just got back. The idea of Solarians figuring out exaltation must keep them up at night. A comforting thought. So you're finding out the Ket's dirty exaltation secrets? And, if we're lucky, a way to stop it. I meant to thank you for the star maps. 
You're welcome. Between us, charting the Scourge and Rider's Vault data, the cat will run out of bolt holes. I'll send you our latest. I can send a copy to the Turians as well, for their new Pathfinder. A rookie. Any names yet? They must have plenty of good candidates. I hope they're prepared. Better to find your wings as you fly. Worked for us, didn't it? There's only one way to find out what kind of Pathfinder you are. For now, friends, I need your help. The first wine bottled in Andromeda, sent back to the Nexus. Seemed worthy of our first proper meeting together. If we have a toast. To our crews, our Sams, and each other. May we always find our path home. Maintenance crews, please report to the commons area. How are things going with Arc Lucinia? The Asari. It's a momentous occasion, Ryder. You succeeded beyond everyone's wildest dreams. Except mine, of course. The first time I saw you, I knew you had the makings of a great Pathfinder. It's fortunate I was here to provide the sage counsel that guided you to Meridian. It's a victory for us both. Did you have some other business? I'm looking into the Nilk and Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. I think we already have, though physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, We'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you... It's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. Candrus mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. You've already met their leader, Sloane Kelly. She was one of us until she joined the traitors. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved. Their muscle, nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the Initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons, one for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them, the thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, 
We can facilitate the search. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Salarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the Scourge, some at the hands of the Exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. Then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So... you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. As you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. Thank you. 